Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? Um, so, this is going to be the weirdest vlog in the world. I just feel like picking the camera up and just doing some little bits today. Um, purely because I have to film stuff for the client library, for the team's kind of exercise and lifestyle library. So, this is one segment that I want to put into there. And it is going over. I've got a little list for you guys. I've got a little list that we need to get filmed today. So, planning out your day the night before, kind of evening routine. So, let me jump into this. So, the best pill, magic formula in the world to get the best results possible, whatever that comes to in life, being organized and prepared is going to be the biggest factor that is going to reduce anxiety, stress, get you better results, get you a pay rise at work, that is going to make you feel in control of your family environment and more content and grounded, everything. So being in control of your time, taking full responsibility of the next day, of what is going on in your life as much as possible. So, um, and I do wanna stress that as well, like not to be a douche, but like take responsibility for your time, your energy, and your actions. That's literally it. So the biggest thing that's ever helped me is this, a pen and a notepad. So team, you have access to planning the perfect week documents and our daily routine planner as well. So honestly, I highly recommend you use those to help you out. And of course, you can't go wrong with an old school pen and paper. So very, very simple kind of what I do is every night I write this bit out. Not that you can see it, but yeah, a rough idea. My incredible dyslexia shitty handwriting. Not that dyslexia makes you have bad handwriting, but I'm just gonna blame it. Um, so, for example, it's Friday today, so last night, Thursday night, I wrote this out. So let's kind of backtrack to Thursday night. So Thursday night, what I do is, honestly, I'm getting a lot better at it. I'm trying to get all my work, everything all done by 7 p.m. So by 7 p.m. So even sometimes yesterday, I was had, I got everything done by 6 p.m. So 6, 7 p.m., everyone was replied to, I had no messages, everything was all sorted, I felt organized, everything was done. So having that kind of strict time, be like, right, I need to get X and Y done before here, so I can honestly just prep some meals, whatever I need to do. I'm kind of cooking Steph's dinner um, and just kind of getting organized, really. So making sure that I'm really relaxing before going to bed. And this is a big reason why people struggle with their sleep because they're working all the way up to the point where they put their head on the pillow and then they're just running with these thoughts instead of reducing the light, putting a bit of Netflix on, having a nice dinner, relaxed, eat your dinner in a calm environment, slow, let it digest, all this sort of stuff. So having kind of that perfect holiday evening, but every night and making sure that we integrate that into your life. So making sure two hours before my bedtime, and my bedtime is for us, it's anywhere from kind of 9.30 to 10.30. We are in bed and that is it. So between 9.30 and 10.30, so obviously we're looking at kind of 7.30 sort of time period where I wanna be relaxing, having dinner, things like that. So, last night I wrote down Friday. What needs to be done today? So I, I, so I, I don't know why, but I write down how I do my day. So my morning routine, I don't need to write it down, I just do it. So, but my morning routine is, I wake up pretty naturally. Um, I weigh myself, or I go for a pee, I weigh myself. I have my hydration, so I drink my supplements, the ones that I prepped the day before. So this is everything from kind of like Hydromax, this is things from electrolytes, all this sort of stuff. In the big 1.5 litre bottle, go back to other YouTube videos and you can kind of see that as well. Team, that is all in your library as well. Um, then I prepped some food. So I prep our breakfasts, um, so pre-workout and pre-workout uh, pre meals. I get all those prepped. I prep my rice for the day, so I put it in the rice cooker. I have a coffee. I chill for five minutes and then I start my first work block, which is for about an hour. So kind of from seven to eight a.m. I'm kind of doing my deeper focus work and that's it yet. So I kind of get that ticked off in the morning as well. And then that's pretty much it. Then I, I literally write down shower as well. I'm really like OCD with this sort of stuff. You don't have to write this sort of stuff down, but it does honestly help. And when you can tick things off psychologically, it feels so good. So get on the tick list. I have a shower. 
and then normally I do a little bit more work and then me and Steph would go to the coffee shop and things like that depending on kind of how our mornings look sometimes I have calls in the morning sometimes Steph has posing clients all this sort of stuff but more or less get a shower go to the coffee shop and we start our second work block for another hour we have our pre-workout meal then and that's it yet and then again it's just writing down kind of I just put a line from the first work block to the second work block what needs to be done and then that's literally it the afternoons are a little bit more flexible so after training and things like that the afternoons are a little bit more flexible I have calls with clients I have check-ins talking to clients a lot more um, so talking to the team talking to you guys <laughs> um, and consultation calls what else even today it's just like yep you got a haircut got a bit of a chill time sort of thing like that so just making sure kind of everything in our day is written down and anyone that is self-employed out there will understand that even when you're employed right like oh you got to be at a meeting boom oh crap okay cool I can't do this so this is why I generally am like prioritize your mornings when there's a lot less shit that's gonna get thrown your way so generally that is what I would recommend massively so yeah guys that's kind of it um, Obviously team, anything to, regarding your like routines and sleeping structure, we all work on, on very personal levels. So if there is any barriers there and you see this video before you message me by any chance, who knows? But just let me know. But honestly guys, take control of that evening, the, la the last two hours of the day, and honestly like the first two hours of the day. What do you do in those two hours? Because those are the time periods that are definitely all based around you, especially if you're working for a company and things like that. Your morning is your morning. No one can distract you from that. The world's quiet, everything along those lines. The evening is your time to relax with your partner, your kids, your loved ones, whatever that is. So generally cherish the first two hours in the morning and the last two hours in the evening, guys. I hope that helped. Take control of your time, take responsibility. And I promise doing the little things like a checklist, writing things down will impact your life more than you think. So team, have a good one. I'll speak to you in a second um, and Let's crack on with the rest of the day. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> I mean, I've had a weird, I've had a weird mood the last couple of days. Um, I'm definitely at a point where I kind of want to get away from this, like get away from phones and things like that, which doesn't help when your job's online. But just have that mindset at the moment. But the first meal of the day, which is that pre-workout meal, nothing's really changing. Um, food did get bumped up the other day to be fair, um, nothing by much, we're just making small increments over time, uh, we don't need to keep, we don't need to make massive jumps and gain crazy amounts of body fat at all, so we're just making small increments, see how the body responds, running with that for probably like three, four weeks and just, there's no real time frame on it either, like me saying three or four weeks, if we keep seeing progress on what we're seeing, then don't change it, like don't try and fix something that's not broken. Um, but we've just pushed total calories up on training days and rest days by 200 calories. Um, so nothing too crazy coming from carbs and protein. That's literally it. So this is the pre-workout meal. Same as usual. 100 grams of grounded flour. So kind of like cream of rice. Um, we've got one banana, one scoop of whey, 100 grams of blueberries, and we've got four rice cakes as well. And that is going to be pretty much just... There's pretty much all carbohydrates in there because we've got a back and bicep day, so pull day today. So just literally fueling, fueling the muscles correctly, getting carbs in there because that is going to be the first energy source we burn when we train and it's going to fuel the muscles correctly. So oh, I'm going to dive into this. Enjoy. Steph should be joining me soon so we won't have much space on this table. <laughs> yeah, just in a, such a weird mood. It's almost annoying. Nine. She's in a weird mood. <laughs> you actually filming this? <laughs> yeah, she's done it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you just feel like I just feel like a dick. You know, if someone like talks to me, I just want to kill him. <laughs> like so bad. I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh well. Friday. Like, Friday. Yeah. I think that's what it is, I just need to like, just, you know, you just want to run away. <laughs> just, oh, that's it. But, can't complain, because everything's good. Everything's good. Just in a fuzzy, fuzzy mood. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, that's it. Simples. Alright guys, so, 
yeah, like I said, it's just been a bit of a, just a weird mentality the last week. Uh, not the last week, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, you know you just don't feel, there's something weird, something weird. Just don't feel productive. Um, I feel quite tired, to be honest. You know, you just like, you could just, just sit here and do fuck all. That's kind of how I feel. I just feel like, meh. But everything's good, everything's good. Um, that's the thing, like you can't complain where everything's good, so. But yeah, uh, super random vloggy shit, like I said. Um, generally, like, I don't really want to, I, I think I'll do it in America and things like that, because it'll be different. Because my training, I'm not really like, when I'm out there, I'll be training, training hard, but I will happily kind of set the camera up and things like that. But whilst I'm kind of in a good routine of training, uh, I'd rather just get Michael in and just film so I can put my head down and crack on with it. So I'm not going to take the camera filming or anything like that. I'll just post them on my phone and that's it. Yet. So yeah, everything's good. Um, that's it really, that's it. I think I think we both feel the same. <laughs> well, it's Steph's obviously three weeks out. Um, so being three weeks out, it's, it's hard, it's hard. And it's, it's not easy. It's Everything she does, she has to put herself first, and it's important that she does so. Um, but yeah, I kind of feel like she does, but she has a reason to feel like it. <laughs> I just feel like it because I'm there. But it's we're, we're humans at the end of the day, we have feelings, we have emotions, and sometimes it's just... Sometimes you just feel flat and there's no real reason for it. So anyway, I'm going to chat shit because I know that I did a long talk earlier on this video. So it's cool. Um, we're going to train, so I'll see you for post-workout. <sighs> Alright guys, how are we doing? Jesus, you can tell. <laughs> um, yeah, honestly, even like the mood that I was in, like not the mood that I was in, but like, just I, even, I posted this on just my stories. And just, I feel like this week I've been forcing myself to be productive. I feel like I've been forcing myself to do a lot of things. Um, normally I love kind of like just doing love little little things like it could be just certain pieces of work that I need to do I love it but I've just had a lot of days where I'm just like I just don't want to do it and I feel pressured to do it um, and it's kind of just bottled up towards the end of the week where I'm just like I'm done with humans <laughs> I'm done with everything I don't want to talk to anyone um, so yeah, I just, I mean, it's not a weird mood. I just, I just feel like for me, I always put a lot of pressure on myself to keep moving forward and things like that. And sometimes you just have to be very content and grounded that some weeks are just about ticking boxes and just running with the momentum that's there. And sometimes it's just about riding the wave. And I feel like this week, I just need to ride a wave a little bit. Otherwise training performance and everything like that is phenomenal. I do feel beaten up a little bit, uh, which is okay, which is all good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Like, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video here, um, just because honestly, I feel like I have to force even talking. Um, so I'll pick up a little bit tomorrow. Um, so really easy. Like you've seen a full day of eating. It's pretty much exactly the same as it was before, um, but it's just a little bit more food um, of kind of more of what I was having. But put it this way, um, we've got the standard post-workout chicken and rice yes we are doing boiled rice boiled rice you have to boil rice boiled chicken um, just because I really like boiled chicken and it's really good it keeps the texture of the chicken it's really good so <coughs> we've got 125 grams of raw weight rice um, just get in the habit of weighing all your products or products all your food sources at a raw weight because obviously when you cook it and you do it cooked weight it will vary a lot because of the water you put in it and things like that so to be as consistent as possible I do just recommend getting in the habit of weighing it out at a raw weight that goes for like chicken that goes for everything um, so yeah we've got 125 grams of raw weight rice 200 grams of raw chicken um, two whole eggs in there and some mixed greens you know how I work like just everything goes in a frying pan two minutes done and dusted the good thing about boiled chicken is when you put the rice in it, it absorbs the water and it kind of goes into this sticky rice texture which is epic we've got the usuals hot sauce I've got a little bit of um Steph bought this it's like some garlic garlic seasoning 
which is all good for me. And then obviously we've just got some pink Himalayan rock salt as well. And that is pretty much it guys. Ooh, sorry guys, the battery died. Um, so normally, cause food's gone up a little bit, I have some fruit afterwards. Normally I have mango or pineapple just because mango and pineapple are more dense fruits. Um, and obviously it just doesn't mean I have to eat as much food in the day when the calories are denser. So, but we got some blueberries, so I'll do the whole bag of this. 300 grams of blueberries. I'll put a little bit of almond milk in there. Um, I don't, I'm at the stage of gaining where I'm like, if I have like a orange juice out and things like that, I honestly don't really track it that much. Um, a little bit of almond milk, I don't really track it. Um, so it's absolutely fine when you're kind of in that growing phase, it's okay to do that. Um, especially when you're very accurate on everything else, it's all good. So yeah, just gonna have this, that, get a haircut. <laughs> so you'll see that tomorrow if I do some little bit of vlogging tomorrow but yeah guys anyway I'm gonna sign off I'm just gonna chill um, I want to spend some quality time with Steph because um, she's been an absolute trooper and um, I like her <laughs> so I'm gonna spend some quality time with her so anyway guys I'll see you tomorrow and 